Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Shortest Trip to Earth. We're in Sector 4. The unclaimed sector, I suppose. Yeah, it is the unclaimed sector. And it's got quite an interesting little design to waste fuel because you have to go between these stars. Of course, they're optional, but, you know, we have to look at everything. We have a lifeless planet and we're in the midst of just asteroids everywhere. So I'm hoping to do as little of this as possible. One of the mountains of this planet boasts an exposed seam of raw titanium ore. We could mine valuable materials here, but setting up the mining facilities and processing the ore is energy intensive. The facilities themselves can be later recycled. Well, we are going, well, not low on fuel, but yeah, let's, let's mine it anyway. We've exhausted all the exposed mineral seams. Yeah, that was actually quite a lot of metals. I like that. Alright, so we're, I think we're pretty much done here. Let's go to Colo. Colo is, what was that? Oh yeah, Colo is quite far away, so uh, we're definitely going to be jumping there. Let's go. There we go, public materials converter. Let's go through the asteroids. This is one of the ancient intergalactic public matter processors. These famous facilities were built by older races for public use centuries ago. <laughs> they are still working after hundreds of years of service. We may convert some of our resources to others. 50 explosives to fuel. I don't really have that many explosives. I mean, I know I have almost full, but, but they go down quickly. Let's disengage this for now. That's quite interesting. Spineless technology, so I'm assuming they will not barter with us. Because they don't have the spine for it. <laughs> uh, let's see what they have. Ship repairs. Yeah, why not? Let's repair everything. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. That's a, that's the insectoid... Um, insectoid uh, star base. That looks really cool. And I never actually noticed that they do have an interior here. Move crew here to leave them permanently behind. Oh. This is the first time I actually spotted that. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Look at that station. That looks cool. Alright, so. I got some crew. What is that? Limpo 49. Whoa. Exotic device that allows shooting warp arcs at close range. Can be used to create the, uh, tiny holograms above palms. Uh, Beadroid cyborg artist. Loves math and engineering. Wow. Armored and fire resistant body. It's pretty cool. There's a... High-tech hand weapon. Result of a royal breeding experiment. Alright, let's see what kind of modules they have. Biotech ECM turret plus 7%. That's quite a lot of evasion, actually. If I had extra modules, um, that would be great. Insectodian sniper railgun. Never deflects. Blah, 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 blah. Not that great. Insectoid alliance mega laser. 1 times 8. They're about the same. This powerful laser requires considerable charge time. Relying on a single laser beam makes it less useful in society deflection. Compared to our stuff, it's almost twice as slow. Uh, twice slower. It's about the same accuracy. Damage area radius is very large. It's got a lot more damage, though. Oh, wow. It's got more damage for the same amount of energy. Wow. Oh, it's so expensive, though. We need... Wait. Not enough credits or room... Oh! I do have enough credits. I was wondering about that last time. But it's not enough room in the storage. Okay. That's really good, though. I could replace two of our ours with these insectoid ones. I mean, I know they, they take a long time to charge, but that is crazy. And, of course, yes... If you deflect, you lose a lot more out on damage than uh, you would with these ones. Well, let's see what else is here. Insectoid point defense, plus 12. That's actually really good. What's going on? 112. Yeah, that's... Uh, wow. It's also faster. This is actually a lot better. What about this one? Yeah. It's also very expensive. I've got two of those. Warp drive crystal A. I think ours is better. 29 seconds. Yeah, ours is just plain better. Floral ray gun. Oh, it's this one. That one has really a lot of damage. Oh, four organics consumed for volley. I don't like that. And a shield battery. Advanced biotech. 
Which is pretty much the same as our rat one. No, actually, no, our rat one gives a lot less. It gives 10 for 8, and this one requires 9 and gives 16. Oh, but we don't have enough energy for that. We just... Oh, no. We've got one too little energy. I suppose I could depower one of the right point defenses. Man, that would be nice, having that much shield. But it's so expensive anyway. <sighs> right, let's see. So let's let, let's prepare everything like this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so we're at 38 out of 40. What? Really? I have two extra energy? Okay. I can then buy this and replace this. Yeah. Okie dokie. Let's do so. So we're going to scrap this one. And we're going to buy this one. Oh, we well need some room here. Emperor Banks long range engine. Uh, two tail engine. Let's scrap this one. Yeah. Buy. That is expensive. But now... We can have that there. Look at that. 22 now. Lovely. Okay. So we've got one more energy, but we don't really need it. Because if I want to replace my lasers, they are four energy each, just like these ones. You know what? I'm, I'm using a completely new mouse. I bought the same type because my old mouse was just really getting along now with the years. And um, this one seems to be defective a little bit which is very annoying the right mouse button is a little bit wonky and the left one seems to double click sometimes which is why you can see me like open this and it opens and closes it immediately it's a little bit annoying uh, I guess I'll have to return it as annoying and rebuy it anyway I think I am going to buy one of these or maybe even two mega laser I like that a lot. So let's put the mega laser here. Bloody hell, that thing is big. That thing is huge. Now, should I buy another one? That will pretty much exhaust my entire supply of money. Although, of course, I can always just scrap things. Even though these industrial lasers are very good. Um... And we can also sell stuff here. 35 for exotic. That's not so bad. I'm going to sell a few. I'm going to sell some synthetics. I'm going to sell some metal as well. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. And I think I'm just going to buy another laser and replace it with this one. Man, those things. Oh, we got some serious firepower now. Yeah, the, in the, the, the in insecticides seem to have some really nasty stuff going on. Uh, buy a reactor. I can always... No, we're, we're fine. Okay, let's... Uh... Wait a second, let me do this. Someone fights fires and people repair. That's going to be this setting. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I don't want the floral one, even though it's pretty good damage, but I don't want to waste organics firing it. So let's see, should I... Oh yeah, they don't even want any of my stuff anymore, synthetics or metals. They're full on that. So I think I'm going to buy some star fuel. It's quite expensive. Yeah, let's buy some of that. Alright, excellent. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, let's put this stuff back. There we go. Reload that. Okay, excellent. That's sp sp Spinal's technology there was amazing. We've got some serious firepower now. It is a lost cargo container of standard old earth design. Standard approach, safety protocols. Should we open it using standard procedure safety protocols? Well, let's do safety protocols. I mean, it's only 25. The container was filled with an assortment of various mood-enhancing chemicals. Production data tells they were produced in one of the Jupiter moon bases a couple of years ago. 
while the moot cams are completely harmless and proved to be, after initial testing, uh, wonderful. <laughs> okay, we got some uh, organics for that, and in fact, we do need quite a lot of more organics, so... I don't know what's going to happen if we run out. Do people start taking damage as we travel? I'm assuming. It's a little bit, uh... Yeah. Oh, wow, that's... There. There doesn't seem to be anything here. What? I'm sure there's something there. Let's go check it out. I'm assuming there's gonna be... a fight. Yeah, there we go. There must be something there. Unknown object. And nothing else, it seems. What? Can't fly that close to a star. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything else. Visible, valuable metals indicate the wreckage hasn't been looted. No active technology detected. An internal bot was discovered in the wreckage. Our AI had no problems repairing and reprogramming it. Excellent! So we got a new bot. CBD 9000. Maintenance and gardening drone with... Whoa, that's a lot of gardening. Arc welders. Oh. Good at repair is very durable. That is really nice, actually. Alright, let's see who's uh, gonna be named this one. It's going to be Derp Angel. Welcome to the crew. And wow, you are very good at growing stuff. And in fact, these guys not so much. So let's get rid of Nate Noob here. He's not gonna be doing that. We're gonna have... Uh, we're gonna have our drones do that. Eight. That's... <laughs> it's actually quite good right now. Because, uh, we need more food. Even though that's, you know... Plus eight organics production. Of course, the thing is, when you do have, a uh, A person operating the organics, um... They don't consume any organics, so... But it's minus five, so... You know, it's plus two, minus five. It's, we still have a better yield if we use Derp Angel there. So, let's see where to put the rest of these guys. What are you good at? Eight, science. So you're very good at science. So instead of using Matthew Zoltan here... You can do that. There we go. Matthew Zoltan. There we go. So we get more sciencey stuff. Okay. <laughs> I just have to rearrange people. Five with sensor skill. But we already have Honey's a Beast there. So I suppose you can do just other stuff. Who's the best at this? You are. Okay, Aris Pantheon. And you're all there, already at the bridge. I'm just going to have Matthew Zoltan do two at fires, two at repairs. Let's do repairs for now. Oh, that's pretty good. And these guys are in combat. Okay. Save that. All right, okay. Let's also level people up. So I'm going to give you more bridge stuff. Then we have Colonel Krukov. Who's doing shields? Yeah, he's pretty good at shields. Is anyone else better at shields? No. Apart from H. Walsh, who's the same. So let's do more shields. 20% shield reload time. Then we have Matthew Zoltan, who's doing repairs right now. But I could give him more of this. More combat ability. Let's do that. We've got Dr. Loco, who's doing researchy stuff at four. Why not use one of these guys, actually? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. We already have to. Oh, I see. Okay, Dr. Loco, you're going to be doing repairs. Then. Okay, that makes sense. There. So, Nate Noob, let, let, let's go here. Nate Noob, definitely gonna have more research. 
we got Thurk. We're going to be doing more research. And we have Big Boy, who's going to who's gonna be growing stuff. Why is he... I don't... And now we have only two people growing? Wait, what, what's going on? Oh, wait, there's more people down here, but I cannot... No. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> uh, okay. Four, three... Oh, yeah, we've got the... <sighs> We've got Derb Angel doing that, doing the growing stuff. Okay. Honey's a beast and is doing sensors, so let's do more sensors. We've got Big Boy doing growing. I suppose I'll do more of that then. We've got Dr. Loco doing repairs and other things. I suppose that can be the case now as well. And one big fat guy is manning stuff so let's give him more of that that's pretty good and antonius is leveled up as well shields why not and insidious bliss will do firefighting all right that's pretty good let's save that dump one excess metal <laughs> okay nothing else here well, let's get out of here Warp to destination and then warp to Egalito. Or Egalito, or whatever you want to. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was us. I thought there was something else there. Like, okay, quite far away. Doesn't appear that there's any fleets over there. Oh, there they go. Okay, so now we have to quickly. Yeah, we're not going to have the shields here. Let's replace that, replace that, and load the combat profile. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Actually, we could fly away. Yeah, while we prepare that. Come on. Okay, they're coming in. We have low organics. That sucks. We detected two ships, one large and one small, rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. They broadcast a constant mantra. Wisdom of the past is the best wisdom. Oh, it's like, uh, mantises. Alien vessel. This area carries the old tradition of very holy injustice. In this place, thousands of individuals have been unfair against each other for centuries. Almost always the strong against the weak, of course. We must honor this old tradition. You must contribute to our tradition respecting ceremony, or suffer an attack by our guardian fleet. Participate in the waste ritual, needlessly burn 77 fuel. Participate in the sacrifice ritual, ask the crew to self-inflict 11 non-lethal wounds. Or tradition is no excuse for injustice. Prepare for battle! For centuries, the old wise males of tradition guards have guarded against tradition, uh, ancient traditions across the Insectoid Alliance territories. Who are you to question their wisdom? I am in an independent free will and I will fight you. Okay, so unfortunately our... Uh, whoa. Those are some interesting looking ships. Oh, bloody hell. They've got the nephrite ray guns. Ouch. This might not have been the best idea. We're obviously going for this one. They get less armor and everything. And uh, our shields are... Well, they have to reload. Those are some weird bridges. I like it. Right, so... What is that? Warp drive grade 2. Look at that thing. Bioreactive engine. Armored turret. Bioreactor. And another bioreactor. So, shield decoy. A highly armored shield battery. Then increases max shield points and ship HP. Appears a shield generator to enemy sensors. Okay. It doesn't, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's just go for this. Oh, that's not very okay, there we go. So, hopefully, uh, these shield batteries recharge quickly. Come on, recharge. Oh, there's one. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, it's just one crew member, right? Yeah, operated by one crew member. It almost looked like there could be two there. But I like Colonel Krukov there, the blob operating that. That looks so cool. Well, let's see those insectoid blasters. 
They're about to attack us as well. Ow, 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 yep, that sucks. Oh my god, we're doing so much, so much damage with those! Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, they're trying to escape. That's ridiculous! Look, the, the, that one's going to finish them off. Yeah! Arnold! Destroy! Oh man, those things are... Oh, I want that biotech reactor. Look at that, plus 20. I really have to start boarding vessels and see how that goes. Maybe you can actually salvage the entire modules or something. That is... 20 energy. That would be amazingly good. All right. They they uh, they are quite painful, though, those ray guns. The nephrite ray guns. Oh, deflected. They sound really cool. Yeah! Arnold! Come on. Okay, they've already taken our shields down. They're missing a lot. Excellent. Ouch. Deflected. Oh, they did a lot of damage there in one go. That was not very good. Ow. Oh, man, they're doing a lot of damage. That sucks big time. Oh, jeez, they're doing a lot of damage. Start repairing stuff, because damn. Shell swimmer. What? Enemy ship is warming up its warp drive. Oh, that's what it is. Come on, take them out! Oh, man, they're doing so much damage. Come on, we need to destroy them now. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. Yes. Oh, oh that sucked. Our utility bots have salvaged all the resources. Oh, that they took so much damage. They basically did 30 damage to us. Wow. That was uh, perhaps not worth it. Shield batteries, do it yourself. Unfortunately, not very good. Let's grab that. Warp drive grade 3. So, 5 energy, a little bit more. A little less activation fuel. A little shorter. Eh, that's, that's good. But I don't think I have the energy for that, so... Let's get rid of... Get rid of this for now and just store this one. And a heavy nephrite ray gun. Nice. Um, fortunately, I don't really have the energy for that. Wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, that thing is uh, has to be repaired. Now let's repair that. So they're just going to use up... What's going on? Oh, they're repairing stuff and they're... For repairs. Wow, I didn't know they uh, actually use synthetics to repair. Okay. So now they're all done with the repairs. Everything else. Internal component destroyed. Ouch. Ouch. That. Look at that. They did a number on us. Of course, we did a number on them. Even more, but... Uh, let's see. What was that? No operator. Oh, requires one operator. Okay. Uh, one times seven. That's, um... Yeah, that's a lot more damage. And the shield damage is insane. The problem is... It's also a very slow-firing gun. And I don't really have that much energy. I could, of course, use it. And, uh... Switch off one of the... Point defense systems. While doing so. Well, let's get rid of the industrial laser here. And let's put this one here. That looks so cool. Oops. So now we don't have enough for that. But of course, if I turn that one off... There we go. Now we're really wanting for energy. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be... Uh, nothing else we can repair. That's gonna be our... Assignment for combat, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. And I suppose I could use the exotic multi-container there now. Instead of that. Of course, it's still useful for, uh, for asteroids and such. Man, but those... Wow. They hurt. 
that is insane how much damage we took from everything that is just crazy uh, let's dump the excess and unfortunately we have quite a lot of excess stuff here and a lot of synthetics we could just get rid of something oh man and repack it but of course we'll get more metals <laughs> Let's convert them to fuel then. It's not very efficient. Okay. That sucked. Big time. Those guys hurt. This planet has a colony of rodents who call themselves the family. Their species used to be an advanced one, but an internal conflict shattered their civilization into isolated colonies and deeply regressed scientific progress. The locals seem to be in a constant state of low-level warfare and aggression. Let's contact them. I am Claw, the leader of this forsaken planet. Our colony has been disconnected from the interstellar community due to the lack of resources. In addition, my forces are besieged by anarchists of rebels who claim I'm responsible for food shortages. Will you trade me some explosives so I can protect the peace? I can only play, uh, pay in organics. Well, we'll have to because I have almost zero organics. What is the meaning of life for the family? The family exists to support the endeavors of the family head. Lately, there have been disagreements on this from local anarchists, but they do not matter. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I'm not really doing the right thing, but we need it to survive. After delivering the explosives, you find out the organics delivered are cut-up corpses of local residents. Further analysts of local society proves the representative you traded with is likely a tyrant ruling with violence. Yep, that's exactly what I thought would happen, but oh well. After seeing the analysis on the local widespread abuse of power by the rulers, some of the crew propose a bold idea that we should covertly interfere and actually help the anarchists to throw, overthrow the claw. X materials, X explosives. Right, let's do that. Let's interfere. Under attack. Two of our crew infiltrate the planet, wearing bodysuits that disguise them as locals. They coordinate the, re uh, the re revolution with rebels. The attempt to overthrow the claw does not go smoothly as the rulers launch all their nuclear missiles against civilian targets. Our ship only manages to neutralize the missiles that would have hit the rebel headquarters, housing our operatives. Much of the planet has become a nuclear wasteland. The Claw is still alive somewhere in an underground bunker, and 90% of the planet's population is dead, numbered in millions, or about to die due to destruction of infrastructure and environment. The rebels ask for your assistance in food and technology to rebuild the civilization and destroy the Claw later on. Ah, no! <laughs> Donate resources! You give the local survivors some resources to, to rebuild their planet. Our covert operation almost resulted in total wipeout of an entire civilization. At least it makes kind of a good campfire story. Oh no, what a... Oh. What a disaster. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next, all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>